another message guys real quick well well real quick real quick i'm gonna try to get this out because i have to get my phone on the charger and go to bed okay guys i hope you guys are all being blessed everything is working out in your favor above and beyond and exceedingly in the mighty name of jesus okay guys it's a lot of people, a lot of women, a lot of men. And I know you've been wondering, like, this can't be real. I understand, like, me being on this certain type of vibration that could be low or could not be good. Or, you know, I may, or even you feel like, oh, I, it, it's still some stuff I need to heal Woo, woo, woo. So that's why I'm attracting these same individuals, but it's taking you back to like, no, I didn't did so much work on myself. I've been by myself. I've been healing. I, I gave up things. I, you know, I'm coming substance with things that I know that I, I wasn't even right for doing or being that certain type of way. Um, I'm rejecting. I didn't reject it. Tons and tons of connections. I didn't reject it. Tons and tons of people. I didn't let go of karmic people. I didn't let go of things that don't serve me. I've been healing. And I. That's what a lot of you guys are saying. Why am I constantly still attracting these certain same all type of individuals seeming like they're just being in different bodies with a little bit different little situations going on with them that maybe the other person didn't have maybe sexual addictions or drinking problems or drugs and you like I know my energy ain't been or I don't drink like that I don't like drinking I been giving up drinking I may drink some wine every now and then, you know, a little glass and it gets you buzzing out of control because you just don't drink regularly and you just like, uh-uh, like this is a normal. This is a normal for me to keep attracting these certain same type of individuals that's doing low vibrational shit that you know, or they're childish or they play these tit for tat games. Woo, woo, woo. No. Someone have prayed that, not prayed it. Someone have worshiped that. They, they don't want you to have a loving connection. They don't want you to, because they know they've been digging around and prying around in your charts. Not only are they trying to keep the divine ones that you're supposed to be with out of a connection with you and conjuring up spell work and doing different things to keep you guys apart. They are working up spell work to send bad people towards you that they know that's slip tripping and dipping and doing things that don't add up to the plate or whatever to to do the thing they are sending them to you purposely these demonic forces these spirits is family members it's tarot readers that's not on a high vibration that just look at you or just see your work or they just jealous that you have a lot of knowledge they just jealous that things come to you first and you know they just so envy and jealous but they feel the need to think 
that they're going to progress for some odd reason after they didn't did all of this that they're doing to you. And the truth of the matter is not. Things aren't. They getting ready to hit a real hard patch that's going to wake them up and they're going to be like, oh, I messed with the wrong one. It's family members. They're jealous of you. They've been getting readings. They've been digging in your chart. They've been looking into all of your information. They've been spying, stalking, talking down on you, backstabbing behind your back, fake profiles, just impulsively, just obsessively, ex-partners, then conjured up stuff. Don't ever let her have a, a, a loving connection. I don't want her to ever be with nobody else. And now have the nerve to think they got a, still got a spot in your life that you're willing, going to be open or willing because God showed them some things too through you. And now they want to, oh, it's us. It was never no us. It was me and God that did that in your life at that present moment to show you something you failed to see at that time. Now, they're so in, like, oh no, she can't be the special one. And it's a bunch of them. They own the internet. They off the internet. They're in your family. They're ex-partners. They're people that just even see you and they see the I'm telling you, I walked out of um, the dollar store and this man was asking me if he could clean up under my motor and clean my windows and all of this and all. And he's a homeless man. And this man had so much knowledge and so much spiritual Intake that he went the and me and him just went the hitting each other back, woo 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 woo, you know, spiritually. And the man was like, he said, when I looked over there at you, you got a big, bright aura over you. And he said, and God told me to tell you, and I'm getting chills. He said that it's your protection. He said, you are protected wherever you go in the name of Jesus. He said, and he said, and it lit up. He said, normally I have to peek people out to see if they're going to accept me coming up to them like that. The man ran up to me and hugged me. He said, it's a bright aura that's over you. That lights up real bright. He said, and that's what made me just run up to you and hug you. He said, and I did it out of nowhere and I had to think or whatever. He said, because normally I wouldn't do that. He said, because... Any other person not going to accept me like that just to run up on them like that and grab them and hug them like that. He said, but God told me that it was okay to do that with you. So these people are got, about to learn a powerful lesson. I'm not just speaking it. And um, they fail to see, they fail to aid at the call they felt you kept telling them and you kept telling them and they still failed crazy 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 and so guys it's not just these people aren't coming in for you and da, da 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 and they don't want to and all of that. They put in spell work to keep it from happening for you. They don't want it to. They want you to be miserable. They want you to be alone, 
whoever did this spell work or whatever it was to keep you secluded alone by yourself where you feel rejected not and it was spell work and it's getting ready to backfire you're something serious it's gonna hit people their kids their jobs their everything that they own i mean it's going to be sad every time they turn around it's going to be and their money is and what's going to be so bad and hurtful about it not even their money going to be able to help them out of this god said they did it to you and now i'm going to do it to them he said they let the devil use them to do it to you. Now the devil is going to use them to repay that debt. And they're going to be the ones feeling like that and going through that and doing all that and da 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 da. So, guys, 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 I'm telling you, it's not just if you feel awkward, like, uh uh, this can't be real. This haven't ever happened. Now that I didn't clear my energy, I'm celibate. I, you know, I don't just be giving my body to know anybody. Woo, woo, woo. This, that, and the other. I've worked so hard. Why does this continuously seem to keep occurring and happening where I'm meeting these individuals and just out of nowhere, it's like, and I'm not even having sex with them. It's just like something just either I reject them or they're rejecting me. Like it's just back and forth, back and forth. You know, and you're just like, uh, uh-uh, this can't be real. Something got to be happening here. Yes, someone did do that. And that is about to go right back to them. It's going to hit their kids. Their kids going to be getting rejected from things. They're going to try to put their children on, you know, on football team, soccer team, whatever at school. You know, these things are just about to start happening to these people. They're going to try to go for these different type of certain, you know, to be nominated or try to enter in certain things. And it's going to keep happening over and over and they're gonna be like uh why is this happening you know why it's happening you know what you did you know what you did so be willing and ready to accept the consequences and that's just period point blank okay y'all bye that's another one